So people can be the most vulnerable part of an organisation if they're not aware that they might be um, a tool for a hacker to get into an organisation. So I think a lot of the time people don't think that they're important enough or rich enough to be hacked or whatever. But actually, if you have information on an organisation, then you're just a, um, a step in the chain to get into that organisation, if you like. So people can be vulnerable if they're not aware that social engineering particularly might use their vulnerabilities, our human emotions like friendliness or like greed or fear, just to get us to respond to gain, to gain information or access to a business. So a lot of it's gained through social uh, media profiling. So uh, social engineers would certainly look at what people put out on social media, maybe look at relationships, look at where someone's been on holiday, what their hobbies are, and use that to create a communication that creates a sense of trust. And once, of course, once people start trusting you and you've got some rapport, then we can go in and, and, and dig for more details when people are off their guard. So what are the things then that people can do to, to guard against this kind of stuff? First thing is, really careful about who you share what with in social media. You know, we all use social media, that's the world we live in, I'm not saying not do it. But be careful who you share information with and just think before you share, you know, what could this, what could somebody who meant me harm do with this information? Um, do they really need to know those personal details because that can be used against us. If you delete something off your social media, be it Facebook or Snapchat or whatever, is it really deleted, gone for good? So what we'd say is that if you put information out there at any point, it's, it's a digital tattoo, it's there forever. But a good place to start would be to go back and work through the posts that you've put on before and get rid of those that you maybe worry about once you've got this awareness and this knowledge. Um, because then it takes a real determined attacker to really dig up that up on you. So be careful what you put on there anyway. But if you think there's posts that are worth deleting, by all means, do your best. Are there any special tips you provide maybe for, for parents of children? You know, it's not that dissimilar to what we'd say to adults. Um, you've got to let children know and young people know that what we share, um, we're not necessarily sure who can read it. So the main thing I would say is that we don't know the who is behind the profile that they see online, especially in things like gaming forums. We don't know for sure that's who they say they are. So it's just a, a due sense of caution. Uh, don't trust people so easily. Um, and just everything we tell them if they were going out into the real world same as on the virtual world.